An enemy has been slain.
dare slack on my ship.
has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed a turret.
Yeah, honestly, BC seems like the play, because in every game, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Graves. In every game, someone's gonna build armor. Doesn't matter. Unless you're all 4 AP and Graves is the only AD. In that case, sure. But, like, Black Cleaver... <clears throat> Black Cleaver is unironically giving me, like, way too much value. Way too much value. I'll play a game with you, bro. You played really well. I'll play a game. I don't mind. This is piss low. Like, it's actually so insane how, how good Black Cleaver is. <clears throat> Join. I invited you. Dude, the sh that Black Cleaver is, like, good, man. Like, the, the only thing I was seeing is, like, the mid laner and the AD carry. Obviously, they're not going to build armor, because if they do, they lose damage. And if they lose damage, what's the point of playing? But, like, <clears throat> everyone else, like, how does Graves... How do you damage someone who's at, like, 200 armor with, like, two items? Because Graves can't damage that. There's nothing I can do. I can't fight that. Like, if I was to build normal mid lane, like, assassin lethality, you would literally deal zero damage. You couldn't, you couldn't hurt them. Braum had, like, 200 armor. Top lane had 200. Jungle had 200. Like, you know, you, you just can't win with that build. So, BC seems the best, honestly, on Graves. BC, like, first or second item. Because it's going to scale either way. Like, if you get it first item, yeah, you'll lose a little bit of damage against, like, squishies. But in the long run, at least you have it for the mid game or the, like, literally every phase of the game. Yeah, BC's good. I, I, I built, look, this is what I built yesterday and it felt decent. I went Shield Bow BC. Uh, Cyrilda's zeal item. So, like, the zeal lets you stack your BC and perma E with your perma slows. It sounds weird, but like, I don't know. It worked yesterday. It worked really well in one game, but. Cyrilda's is weird because Cyrilda's gives you CDR and it feels good because of the slow, but like, you lose damage because you don't get crit chance. And if you build, uh,. Shield bow, you probably want to play in a crit at least 40 to 60. You don't need 80. 80 is like a lot, but. You dare slack on my ship! Te amo, Tabito. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, well, I don't know, man. Graves is a weird, weird fucking champ, but I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say BC every game, first or second item on Graves. I don't trust it. The second someone hits 100 armor, which is literally one item, not even one item, like literal components, your damage is gone. Like, Graves, it, gr without penetration, Graves' damage is gone. It's zero. Like, I've been through so many games dealing zero damage. Because they bought Tobbies. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? That's so trash. Fucking Ninja Tobbies just kills you. Third Diamond promos. Yeah, have fun, bro. It's the worst. This is the shittiest elo. Bro, Malphite with Tobbies is like 9 million. It's like 9 million armor. I, I do feel like Black Cleaver is every build, though. Honestly, Black Cleaver feels way too good. For the How much is Black Cleaver? 32? Is it 3,200 gold? Well, let's just say this. The Black Cleaver build path is phenomenal. It's so good. It's really good. Like, that's a great build path. A literal just, like, long swords. It doesn't get better than that for early game, bro. That's what you want.
You want longsword spam. Okay, so this game, they have a Silas. He's getting Zonias. So his armor's over 100. So Black Cleaver, negative 30, right? 70 armor. I mean, ain't no flat lethality items doing that, I'll tell you. No. No, sir. <laughs> Okay, so it's Irelia mid. I hate this matchup. But I know she's building armor, so I'm gonna go Black Cleaver first item. But I don't think I should go Comet. I really don't think Comet's good here. I'm gonna go Ignite for the sake of the matchup. I don't want to go Comet. This is like an Emacs game, but... I'm still going to go Comet. Fuck it. I can't trust it. Nah, Comet's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but, like, it's fine here. I, I like it better against mages, but sure. This guy's name is Full On Hit Irelia. Okay, cool. I mean, if I was Gangplank, this shit's over, but I'm not GP. I don't really know how to beat... Like, I guess you start E into these champs, I'm not sure. Let's go non-corrupting potion start. I don't trust Silas jungle, and I know, like, does these people cheese you level 2-3? I'm not pushing the wave. I'm gonna W wait. W wait. W wait. W wait. Nah, W should be fine. Honestly, honestly, if he's going, nah, W should be fine. She doesn't really get sustained until, like, one item. She can get Vamp Scepter, but, like, I think it's okay, honestly. I don't think I'll ever land Q anyways in line. She's just gonna perma dash. Like, at least I can guarantee damage from smoke screen. I can't guarantee damage from Q bounce. She's not gonna like dash into fifty walls. I fucking hate this matchup so much. I don't think it's good for Graves, honestly. Starting E level one and trying to auto the fuck out of her makes the most sense. But, I'm not doing that, because I'm an idiot. they starting bot side like they always do. They always start bot side, and then they gank mid. They're fucking red buff. Oops. I mean, she has good damage. It's not bad. It's good guaranteed poke. I can't bounce a Q off her. And the Q is just as expensive as W, so, like, I kind of get half the value. Not even half. I get less than half the fucking value. So, yep, Silas so is mid. Three camp mid. Three minutes. Three camp mid. Three camp mid. Oh, that's actually a three person mid. Alrighty. Well, 
What the fuck is wrong with- Where's Gragas? We win this. Where's Gragas? Thank you, big buddy. Gragas should have rotated earlier. Honestly. I think he should have. It's fine. Oh, okay, 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 big man. Why the fuck was there three fucking mid? Like, why did I just get three man ganked at fucking three, four minutes? What the fuck is that? I kind of want to go corrupting, I'm not going to lie. What if I do this, and then this? No, that's bad. And do this. This should be fine. <clears throat> I literally get three men ganked at three minutes. <laughs> Bro, ain't no way. Bruh, ain't no way, bruh. Silas is trying to dive top at five minutes. I feel bad for Gurgussi. Should I go bail him out? Like, this dude's literally- like, this is a war crime. This is such a war crime. Look at this fucking loser. Nah, he's leaving. My boy Gurgussish. Gurgussish. Like, that W damage is good, man. Like, honestly, even against Irelia, that shit's decent. Well, my duo Q's gone. Rip, unlucky, I spoke too soon. Oh, okay, good. Okay, why is there four fucking mid? Like, what the fuck? Why are you level four? You can't help us. Oh my god, bro. Why? Like, leave mid alone, dude. Leave mid alone, man. I don't need to fucking play the fucking game, bro. Leave mid alone. This fucking dog shit kid just got executed behind us. Everyone just suddenly fucking, like, just materializes mid lane. Like, what the hell is this? My top lane's gapped. Like, pretty hard. Oh, no, not really. I don't know. You hope bot lane destroys them? No, that's wrong. They won't. Everyone knows if the enemy team is roaming, your bot lane's losing either way. Everyone knows that, because the enemy team is just better. Oh, nice. Everybody knows that. Oh, this guy used R, so... Eh, kinda hurts. I'm, I'm gonna miss my W a lot. I gotta just hold it. I can't, like, shoot it out. If I shoot it, it's probably not gonna hit anything. She's gonna dash. Goofy fucking champ. To work. Graves sucks. I mean, no, he does suck. He's not a very good champ. They're lane swapping. Wow. These losers. It's because Trinomir doesn't want to get shit on. Even though his name is Best Trin NA, which, I mean, he kind of just isn't, but okay. 
Why are you lane swapping, bro? Maybe my W is good, though. Man, maybe now I can land my W. We need help. Okay, I know I missed my ultimate and I feel really bad, but Kane also just didn't use R. You got him, you got him. Oh no, you don't get him. He's got too much damage with zero items. I missed my ultimate, but I don't think it really matters. To be honest, it, it didn't matter. She still died. Nah, this Gragas is a is a douche. Like, bro, you're you're weird. That's a two v three, and we win it if you show up early. But you didn't show up early. What? Dude, what is wrong with these dumb fuck top lanes? It was literally a 2v3. If you show up, we win. <laughs> like, what is that logic, man? Okay, I want to see the armor. So Irelia has 63 armor. Black Cleaver doesn't really do much here. Lethality would be better. But let's just assume he buys Ninja Tobbies, and then he's at like... How much is Tobby's? 20? He's at 86. If I'm not mistaken, he's at 86. 86 armor. And then he gets a cloth armor because he's going to build something else. So like Black Cleaver, or even like scaling, base scaling? Base scaling throughout the game. I don't, th Lethality's garbage, bro. Ain't no way. Nah, you go Black Cleaver, fuck that shit. Why is my shitty support sitting in a bush doing nothing? Le the problem with lethality is when anyone- like this game, unironically though, Hey bro, we all go through something like that, no worries my man, it gets better. But I will say this, if everyone here goes squishy, Black Cleaver probably isn't very good, yeah? But, I also will say, the second the game scales, and I don't have percent pen, we're kinda fucked. Like, again, she's at 63 armor, she's gonna buy Tobbies, why wouldn't she? Or, no, 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 actually, I don't think she will, she'll probably get Mercs. This is, this is probably... Nah, this ain't no Prowlers game, no. Black Cleaver has good stats anyways, though, yeah, for sure. Black Cleaver stats are fucking amazing, dude. It's good for both. Like, right now, it will be decent. It will be decent. As the game scales, as long as they get 100 armor, each champion, it's worth it. As long as each champion can get 100 armor, there is, n like, it's worth it for sure. It just gets better throughout the game, but... Okay, look at, as an example, look at Jin. Jin bought Tobbies, correct? Let's see how much armor he has. S 73. Okay, that's a little shitty. I'm not gonna lie, but it'll get better. <laughs> it'll get better. Please just hit 100. Please. <laughs> just hit 100. It, it'll be good regardless. It'll be good. They'll build armor and it'll, it'll scale. Don't worry about it. It's always useful. The stats are sh fucking amazing on Black Cleaver. Stats are phenomenal. You get move speed, you get armor shred, you get 30% haste. Like, nah, this shit's this shit bussin', bro.
Not bad. Okay, as I suspected, she bought Tobby's, so she's at 93 armor, almost at 100, she'll get it in base stats. Just watch. She bought Tobby's. Like, Lethality Mythic, Lethality Item, just loses to Tobby's. You can buy a full item of Lethal, and they can buy one Ninja Tobby, and you lose. You just do no damage. So at least now, I'll be able to deal damage. But I still want to get pen. Ninety two armor. I need help. Silas is forty eight armor with the shred. I go. This guy is such a fanboy, bro. Like, what is this? What the fuck was that? Like, what are you doing, dude? Like, Jesus fuck, man. I don't know, bro. He's best trend in A. Wait, that was a champion? I didn't realize. I thought it was part of the tower. My god, the arrows run. Shucks, thank you, bro. No, nah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Take the wave. Okay, so I want to go shield bow, Cyrilda's Grudge. I really should be about 100 armor right now, so Black Cleaver should be done, yeah? That Silas is a virus. Rune King doesn't work on graves because it takes three autos. It doesn't count the pellets. It takes an auto, auto, E auto, or whatever. You know what I would do instead of IE? I would go Navori Blades, because you could stack it with uh, Black Cleaver. Get 50% CDR. Or 50 haste. That's probably what I would do. Oh, that's a specimen. BC is too good. I'm sorry. This this is like the king item on Graves, bro. The stats are phenomenal. The build path is phenomenal. A hundred armor is the sweet spot. Like, I know I'm fighting a lot of squishies, and they're not really at a hundred armor. But as the game progresses, they will be. Trust me. It's just it's just insurance right now. That's what we're doing. BC is just too good, man. The stats, everything about it is just too good. BC Ravenous? Nope, too expensive. Go BC Mythic. Ravenous is way too expensive. Fuck, I should have been topside. Oh well. I should do like BC Crit Mythic into Crit Third Item. Or I could do BC Mythic into Non Crit Item. What I, again, what I liked, what I thought felt really good, was actually going Cyrilda's third item. Mythic Cyrilda's. Or you can go like, crit mythic, crit percent pen. Like this game, I don't think percent pen really matters. Look how squishy they all are, but like in most games where this isn't the case, yeah, Cyrilda's third seems okay. Or like LDR or something. Mortal Reminder, I think this game makes more sense though. They got like shit ton of heal. Get 
to work. Tobias, Tobias, say it, Tobias, dance, Tobias, Pokey, thank you, bro. Tobias, say it, Tobias, dance. Thank you, man. Percent pen, I mean, not really. The thing about Graves is, like, you need percent pen to deal damage, though. Because not your lethality doesn't matter. If we're going to talk about this game, lethality is, f like, dude, they buy ninja tobbies, and you're useless. 20 armor. Do you know how much pen a mythic gives you? 18. He literally bought ninja tobbies and beat my mythic. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Like, the pen mythics are good, but... I mean... There's a lot of tobbies on that team. Oh, you took the shittiest R in the game. It's okay. Silas is a very fair champion. I want to leave that though. I'm out. Actually, no, we don't. We don't really have to leave. I'm not flashing it though. Fuck that. Okay, their Silas is fucking trash. Like that guy is just bad. He's like pure garbo trash. Okay, now we go Shield Bow into probably Cyrildas or something. Cyrildas would be interesting over the crit item because Cyrildas can stack CDR. Okay, here's a weird one. Cyrildas... No, nah, that's, that's stupid. I was going to say Cyrildas Navori Zeal. Cyrildas Navori Zeal. 60% crit. Dual flat pen, a million CDR. I mean, that don't sound... Actually, that unironically doesn't sound bad. That sounds like infinite e-spam. Doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, Irelia has shield bow and bork and tobbies. I'm coming. I'll tell you what, bro. I do damage. Or maybe that was good gussy. Probably both. Metamune wouldn't fit, no. Just rush Black Cleaver, bro. Every game. I'm not even capping. I mean, this is team gap, but I still fucking dominated. Like, I still did really well. Even if my team is better, that doesn't mean I got carried. It's not like I'm 0-50.
I want to finish Cerildas. BC, no, why would you go Essence third item? Essence is first or it's no item? You never go Essence after first. Wow, we got robbed. I already know, no, 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 guys, no, you don't go fucking ER, no, useless. This build should be good. Shield Bow lets me dive with Black Cleaver. And then Cerildas just seals the deal. I mean, again, there's no tanks in this game. Oh, he here's a good look. Here, here, here. Take a look, take a look. So, Irelia bought Tobbies and a Cloth Armor and, and has item or levels. She has 128 armor. How do you deal damage to that if you go classic mid Graves build? Like Assassin Graves. You, you physically cannot beat that. It's not possible. I'm shredding, like, a little over 30 armor, but... You simply just... It's just too tanky. Yeah, it's too tanky. I mean, that's fucking damage, dude. Look at that shit. Even if I'm four levels on him, but... <laughs> that's decent damage. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm gonna say fuck the lethality, bro. I can't trust it. People buy tobbies and you lose. You just deal zero damage. Black Cleaver first item kind of busting up in here. Doesn't feel too bad. Cerildas in BC. Well, they work differently. You shred armor, and then from the armor shred, your percentage goes into that, which isn't very good. But, because, like, the idea is that, say they have 100 armor, you shred 30% of it, 30% of 100 is 30, right? And then the 30% pen or 20% pen gets tacked on to 70. So, do the math. Same thing with flat pen. If they're squishy and you go black cleaver flat pen, like that would be pretty decent. Flat pen crit. Shred 70 or sh shred 30, implying 100. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. I'm no mathematician. Just use a calculator. I don't think... Well, then I have no survivability. That's just raw damage, and I have to go in. Yo, beer back one sec. I'm kind of a hypocrite. 
I'm kind of a hypocrite. I fucking hate... I play champions that I absolutely hate on my team. I fucking hate having a GP, I hate having TF, and I fucking hate having Graves. So I wonder how my teams feel. I hate all three of those champs on my team. Like, legit, I don't want any of them. I don't want fucking Graves, he does no damage. I definitely don't want TF, he does less damage. And there ain't no Gangplank on my team that's decent. <laughs> like... I don't want any of those fucking people on my team. Okay, we're fighting, uh, I don't know who's mid, Ziggs. Broken champs, bro. Broken champs. I'm someone who hates broken champs, but I can understand broken champs being played. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'll take the Maokai. Maokai's great on my team. On the enemy team, Cancer. We're fighting a Swain mid. Definitely shield both the skin. I'm still gonna max W. I've seen. Okay, if Swain, as long as he doesn't go fucking. What the fuck is that thing called? Um. Rod of Ages? I think we're okay. If he goes Rod of Ages, I think it's a problem. Hey. Hey. Havana. You're awake? You sleep like shit? I slept like shit too. I don't know what the fuck it was. We both slept like complete shit. Bro, my neck is fucked. What are those people? Chiropractors? I need a chiropractor to literally just, like, clobber my neck. Like, they need to just come in, grab my neck, fucking, like, twist it around a few times, and, like... <laughs> That's what I need, bro. Fucking crack that motherfucker. Chiropractors aren't actually good for you. It says what? Reddit? Show me the proof, scientist. Joe told you. Joe Rogan. Listen, if my neck hurts and they can crack my neck and make it feel better, deal with it, bitch. That ain't your neck. That's my neck, pussy.
You know what I mean? You better flash that. Thank you. Keep going, keep going. We're good, we're good. Keep going. I lost all my fucking pots. Fuck. I think this is a brawl, bro. Rengar's starting here? Let's fucking go. I mean, I have W. I kind of cuck their team pretty hard. He's blind. Look, he couldn't even see I killed him. I shot him with my shotgun. He was blind. <laughs> he couldn't even see, bro. Bro, W level 1 OP. <laughs> <laughs> the guy couldn't see. He walked into the red buff blind and just died. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, here's Rengar. He's mad. Look at him. Look at him. I'm the prowler hunter. I'm the creature. I mean, I guess he is legitimately blind. Feels bad. I'm the creature. The Night Stalker. We're fiends, bro. We're fiends, motherfucker. Fiends. I probably should stay in lane, actually. I have a pretty big lead, and Rengar's level 1. He's not gonna gank. Oh, I just missed my W. Let's go B. Well, I know for damn sure they're building armor, so... You know what I should do? I think... Do I go anti-heal first? No. Unfortunately, I'm healing him. Are you tanking? It's fine, Mac. I was here actually. Yeah, for some reason, Mac. I was mid. Fuck is that about? Oh, well, I think. Um. I mean, I say. Um. That's unlucky. What the fuck? Oh well. <laughs> okay. Alright, bro. <laughs> Alright, man. Bro, that's on. The how many times? Is it me, or has that happened three times in three games where we get four people mid? I feel like it has. Has anyone been watching the last three games in a row? We've literally had four people mid three games in a row. That's good. That's good. Well, I didn't see Rengar. I saw Aatrox through topside. Like, we can deal with the Aatrox. I don't know about no fucking Rengar there as well, even if he is shit. Ah, he's going Rod of Ages. The build kind of uh, a little janky. 
It does good damage, though. I could probably poke him out. As long as I don't get hit by abilities, he doesn't really have healing. Like, the healing from Catalyst is pretty shit. It's not that good. Bot's winning. That's really good. AIDS, dude. Fucking hate this champion, he's so fucking annoying. I mean, bye. Oh, he's level fucking six. Yeah, run. I missed my W on her. Well, we get dragon. That's good. This game's kind of a mess. Probably would be advised to just take anti heal right now and then build Black Cleaver. Honestly, I'm not really doing anything in lane. He's too tanky to kill. I'll never solo him. Botlane's like shitting down there, their mouths. <laughs> nice, we're doing it, team. Good work. Okay, I think the build this game should be Black Cleaver. Shield Bow, Mortal Reminder, yeah? How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds like a good build. Yeah, for sure. They don't need me. I trailed, maybe. This guy's pretty fucking him, though. I'll just abuse him. If I had Ignite, I could probably kill mid. Good poke, honestly. I mean, he's got Catalyst, he can't really... He spends mana to heal. Go Black Cleaver.
Fuck the haste. How do you deal damage to Cho'Gath? He has 130 armor. What are you doing, little babies? Ivana's here. She's here. Ivana, speak to them. Say words. You're real, aren't you? How are you today, Ivana? Are you good? Can you crack my neck but and not kill me, please? Oh. No. D like, left side. Left side. Be, be aggressive. Like, you're angry. Like, I just... I just didn't shower for a year. Oh! Oh, that hurts. That's not helping. Can you do it properly? Huh? Just like, I don't know. Like, press your fingers into my neck. Ugh. That hurts. The other side. Oh. There we go. That's good. Thank you. This feels good. It feels good. Oh. This is nice. It's very nice. It's very good feeling. Thank you, baby. Get to work. <gasps> it's our daughter, Jilda Pinkbird. Me and Ivana have two kids, but they're not actual children. They're stuffed animals. One is a frog. What's his name? What's his name? PB Frog Frog. And what's this thing's name? Jilda Pinkbird. Yes, those are our, our children. It's true. How dare you put disrespect on my children's names. We need a long Furby. I honestly might buy one if it's cheap, like 50 bucks. We can have a third child. Because God knows I'm, I'm spending money on a real one. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Imagine having a real child in today's fucking economy. You know how expensive that little fucker is? Oh my god, I gotta feed it? It has to live? Fuck that shit. Go work in the coal mines. That's crazy. Well, cheap for a a, a a Furby would be like 50 bucks, I would assume. People who think it's expensive to have kids are the ones who will spoil them rotten. Well, I'm going to say this, dude. Well, what do you do? Give them sticks and stones to fucking play with? Like, have a, have a nice childhood? Here's a, a rock. You literally have to support another human. You know how expensive one human is? Now imagine two, because you're significant other, and then imagine a third. And then a fourth, potentially. Like, I, I, I. And then pets? Okay, why is there two plants right here? It's kind of weird. People in India have minimum ten kids. That's a different situation, bro. That's not the same. I'm kind of behind slightly. Yeah, bro. Kids are expensive, man. No, they're all getting away with one HP. Ay, yeah, yeah, bro. Swain's gonna get way too strong, but at least I have items that do something against them. 
Nah, you're trolling. What was that? Oh, we lived. Okay. Jody! It's the Jody. There's nothing to do. I'm kind of getting robbed. I'm not in the right spot at the right time. It's fine. Can't always play well. Can't float around like a retard and fucking permaheal 10 trillion damage dealing 10 trillion fucking like AoE nonsense. We got Black Cleaver now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Chody's committing suicide though. Just give Rengar fucking way too much money. Rengar's ulting. I think... Nah, I should go... I don't really know what I should go, honestly. Uh, I know I should go shield bow, but I kind of don't want to go shield bow. Get to work. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, almost. It's fine. Kind of a rough game for me anyways, so I don't really mind. It's a little bit of a rough game. It's okay though, it's chill. I don't think I'm gonna go shield bow right now. I think I'm just gonna take the percent pen and say fuck it. Roll with it. I'll take the percent pen. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Whatever, it's fine. I'll do mortal and then shield bow. And then PD or something. That way I'm yoked out of my mind. The dragon's the win con still. Thank god we had two of them early. Eclipse is fucking useless. Uh, Eclipse is useless. Good damage. These two should go. I'm just gonna start clearing a shit ton of wave stop. Healing reduced, uh, 1,000, which, I mean, yeah, that's a 1,000 more damage I'd have to deal. <laughs> broken. Very broken. Shredded was 600, so not bad. So, if I didn't go Black Cleaver, they'd all be, I would think, invincible, to be honest. Like, 100, 200 armor on that fucker, 100 armor on that guy, like, but this dude, 71? Jesus Christ, man, fuck. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, what a joke. I, it would, like, okay. The, our team was just better. Everyone was just better. The invade ruined their game. Us invading and going psychotic is insane. Like, we actually shit on them in the invade. But to be fair, that guy was kind of like... The Rengar was like a doofus, bro. I don't know what he was doing. Kind of a messy game, though. I kind of, like, died a few times I shouldn't have. Black Cleaver is the play. I feel like even if we're getting lucky and winning some of these games, like, Black Cleaver still pumps out the deeps. It's a good build path. It's a good passive. It's got good stats. It scales. It makes sure you don't lose fucking, um, when they buy Tobbies. Like, that's not bad. Everyone pays. Decided to finally fully watch Death Clock since it's on HBO Max. Haven't seen the show. Is it really? I'm gonna go back and rewatch it. Hard in a while. Also, the evil clown says hi. You just reminded me. I'm gonna go back and fucking watch it on HBO because I got HBO for um, The Last of Us, but I'm gonna go watch it for the other one too. That's dope. That's the good shit. Last of Us episode comes out today. New episode today, correct? Or am I wrong? Is it over already? Okay. Is there any use for Hydron Graves? I feel like there would be, but it's kind of expensive, no? And you can just replace Hydra with, like, a Shield Bow, and then actually build crit, right? I think Black Cleaver's the play, period. Black- oop. Black Cleaver's the play. Like, legit. Every game Black Cleaver. Every game fucking Black Cleaver, dude. Every game Black Cleaver. Every game. Every game. Every game, Black Cleaver. Every fucking game. You have to go Black Cleaver. It's amazing build path. It scales. It beats Ninja Tobbies. It's so good. It's so good. It helps. It, and mobility. Like, and it helps your team. And it helps you. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every game. Well, it procs in two autos. It's six stacks. You can't proc it once unless you crit and all pellets hit. You auto them once and they're negative 30% armor. That's insane. And you get... Okay, here's the crazy thing. So did you know Black Cleaver stacks six times, correct? For every stack, you get move speed. Graves can stack it in one auto with a crit or two autos with no crit and instantly gain all the move speed. That's bonkers. That is b b b b b b bonkers That's pretty good. Comet Prox Cleaver too. Uh, that's kind of a goofy thing though.
If you think of it, it's somehow a little trundle R if you use your... If you use your Darsh. The fuck is a Darsh? The Dash, you gain armor and shred. I'm fighting a Jace mid. Comet does beat Jace, but I played this yesterday and kind of got, like, pissed off. Fucking Darsh. Oh, I'm fighting Tristana mid with exhaust. You little bitch. Wait, no, I'm not. It's Jace mid. Is it Nasus mid? I got AIDS. You little greasy bitch. You can't see it. It's because you didn't allow me to uh, change the page, bro. The word I don't. Does anyone know what this fucking shit dance is from? I hate this dance. It's so boring. Like the other, like classic Graves dance knocks this out of the park. Like, what the hell is this? What am I doing? Like, it's just, it, you can't vibe with this, bro. Like, there's nothing to do. What is this? I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. TikTok youth dance? Probably. The other one's like, Ho down, fucking yeah! This one is just shit. Pretty sure it is Jace mid. I hate life. It is indeed not Jace mid. Oh, for fuck's sake, you insecure losers! Well, Black Cleaver first at him, that's all I can say, folks. This is like... So, Nasus shits on Graves, by the way. I might be able to abuse him, but like... It kind of just ends at abusing him. I wonder if he goes, uh... Oh, I don't think he will, actually. Well, he doesn't have TP, so the best scenario here is that I abuse the living shit out of him. And, uh, also Maokai's not clearing his raptors, so...
Maokai still isn't clearing his raptors. What the fuck? Nasus flashed. Kind of down. Oh, okay, no, I don't know where he is. We can win this. My W's up. I'm just going to rush Black Cleaver. Nothing else matters. Rush fucking Black Cleaver. Rush Black Cleaver. Rush Black Cleaver. Every game Black Cleaver. Well, he doesn't know. The Maokai probably used Flash. He didn't know I maxed W. Because who the fuck maxes W? Like, no one has seen the damage of W Max Comet. It's not a thing. I made it a thing. Ain't no one use this shit. Look at that damage, though. What you at, boy? Where you at, son? He's very low. Deny him some farm, maybe. Black Cleaver, Mortal Reminder. Oh, that's the build. Oh, he ghosted. Fuck, I wasted Flash. Whatever. It's fine. Nasus is such a zero IQ fucking loser champ. It's so annoying. Just fucking disables you and then spams Q. Like, okay, bro. I mean, to be fair, it shits on graves. Like, Nasus Wither disables graves. It, like, it completely just makes him irrelevant. You can't play the game. He does well. Nasus is a one-item champ. He's a he's a Sunderer champ. Every Sunderer is just like death. Every proc of it is insane. It's ten million damage. Botlane needs to not die. I 
I really wanted to fight Jace. It's more fun. At least it's like a battle and not just like this nonsense. Because this shit is nonsense, bro. That's what this is. It's pure nonsense. I don't want to just farm, though. I want to kill my laner. I don't want to farm. Yeah, we're just going to jump this wall. Now oh, I'm dead. See what I mean? Like, fucking cancer-ass champ, bro. Just die, you fuckboy. Thank you. Good shit. They win this. Gwen wins this. Yeah, good, good, good. Nice. I don't even get BC. Okay, now I get BC. If there was, there's like three champs I've ran into that I can't beat. Yasuo, Nasus, and Vlad. Those three champions, I don't know what to do. Nasus, you physically can't play the game. Maybe take Ghost, take, QS take QSS, take Ghost, Black Cleaver, Anti-Heal. And QSS. And like he withers you and you just QSS and you run the fuck away. Because you just can't play. Vladimir is just permanent invincible, and he also like negates your entire kit with a wind wall. So tried, bro. I don't know what I could have done there. I tried to do something. He was dead. Phase Rush could be good against Nasus, yeah. You just need to get away from him. You can't fight him. It's not that the player is better, it's that the champ is better. He's got better abilities to beat Graves. Like, Graves in lane should beat Nasus, but when it comes to anything else, it's fucking impossible, dude. Oh. I mean... Such a cringe champ! So garbage at the game! Fuck, that's cancer! Fucking loser Nasus players, bro. They're all garbage, they're just bad. This is when you bust out Gangplank and say, fuck you, eat shit, you're bad at the game, get better. That's literally what you do. So frustrating. Say, fucking eat my dick hole, you fucking loser. Taste 3,000 true damage, auto attacks with perma fucking Q spam, E fucking zoning, you fucking loser. Such a degenerate shit player, such a degenerate shit champ. So frust it's so basic but so frustratingly cringe. It's the worst. And then it stacks armor and then it still kills you. Like, go fuck yourself, bro. You're trash. And this fucking incest born Maokai is just sitting mid, so that makes it worse. Fucking losers everywhere. Yeah, I gotta go mortal reminder now. QSS mortal reminder. I think is the play. Because I can't... If I get withered, I'm dead. It's the all-in wither. Well, to be fair, we did beat him in lane. We only died when Maokai ulted us, so I guess that means something, right? Fucking losers. Losers. Well, the poke has to matter. I have to poke him. If I don't poke him, he runs at me full HP. Like, I have to deal damage to him. That's not an, that's not an option. You either fight an Asus at half HP, or you fight one at full HP. Good one, bro. You're trash. Back to your dumpster from whence you were born. 
dookie ass kid. Yo, that kid have AIDS? What is that? What is my bot lane? Try and pull. We're here. Just try and pull. There you go. Oh, his ult was up in one second, man. That's so sad. I have to go... Should I just go QSS now? No, 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 no way. Whoa, Nasus is so good. Oh my god, look at him. He's so good. Wow. Zero items, 200 armor. What a good player. Wow. Nasus players are cream of the crop, saviors of humanity, bro. What a good player, guys. Whoa. He's great. You fucking murder this loser. Fucking scrub. It's such a basic champ, but it's just vile. It's such a vile... It's like losing to thin air is what Nasus is. You don't lose to the player outplaying you. You lose to him literally pressing buttons like a fucking toddler. Fuck, it's horrible. I have to go like, um... I don't really know what I go this game, honestly. Probably just gonna roam. Well, that's a thresh, all right. Sheesh. Yo, Kaisa, you fucking patient. You useless, cock-sucking fucking trash bot. Fucking garbage players. Two hundred armor Nasus. Yeah, Black Cleaver's kind of the only way to fight that, actually. Though, I go attack speed boots here. That's what I would do. Wow, good Nasus gets carried by bot lane. Good player. Excellent. Yeah, he runs at you. Well, do you think you have 100 MS? You're trolling, bro. You got like 15. <laughs> you got 15 MS. To be fair, though, Graves against Nasus is just unplayable for Graves. There's like no chance at winning. If he gets items, you just lose. We did beat him in lane, but the bot lane came back to kind of like win the match. Same thing with Maokai. Because even if you could put Nasus down in lane, which most people do, you'll... If you can't end the game, you'll kind of just lose. Our bot lane did fail miserably, though, to be fair. 
And Maokai did ult mid twice for dog shit and asses. 1500 for mortal. Like, what is this bot lane, though? Like, honestly. You fucking human hemorrhoids. Legit trash. I mean, I'm exhausted. Can can't we can't do anything this game, unfortunately. This is a free L. My bot lane has AIDS. Look at this. Where are you where are you looking, bro? Nah, G. You kids have diseases. This is like strictly bot gap. Bot lane failing, and then their bot lane perma roaming up every other lane is kind of a game over scenario. I'm done. Fucking losers. Look how fed this fucking thing is. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. As a range champ, I'm more powerful. Well, that's just false, but okay. You're probably trying to bait. It's fine. Nasus against Graves is horrible. Nasus against other champs, not so much. Like, I know Nasus isn't a god-tier champion, but against Graves, he's a god-tier champion. Against Graves, it's like turbo cancer impossible outside of lane. I think I need to go shield bow. I mean, spot gap, bro. Legit bot gap. It's literally bot gap. It's bot gap and then this cancer fucking meta playing. Dog shit Maokai gap. Whoa. Okay, he's a little fed. Well, I'm gonna say terminal bot diff. I'm not gonna say anything. Lane phase was perfect. We only died. We never died solo to Nasus. We only died twice when we got ulted by Maokai. There's nothing I can do here. We were beating Nasus in lane, which is what we should be doing, because we're graves against Nasus. You win lane for sure, but you don't win the aftermath of lane phase. That's kind of up to the team to not be shit. Go, you inbreds. Go. I mean, just keep going, keep going. I know he hurts, but keep going. I don't want to take a back though. That's a mechanic. That's a League of Legends mechanic. We kind of have to just give Dragon anyways. Like, Kane can maybe steal it, but... There ain't no way out after that. Ain't no way.
Well, we can't play the game because bot lane lost. I didn't lose lane. We did fine. We did really decent mid lane, honestly. We did good. We poked the shit out of Nasus. Had him down like 50 CS plus. That's good. That's what you do. But bot lane failed. They failed the 2v2. And if you fail the 2v2 and then the bot lane runs up, it's like, what do you do? Can't win. Swifties wouldn't save me. Going Ghost would save me with, like, QSS. Or even Phase Rush. Phase Rush, too. Would be pretty good. Damn, their AD carry is so good and fed. Oh, I missed my R. <laughs> Does no damage, though. Whoa. I don't think I've seen this Thresh land any useful hooks, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, good try, but our bot lane is genetically failed. The experiments from Area 51 have escaped. That's a that's an unplayable game. Bot diff, entire bot diff. That's it, literally. Top lane did fine. Jungle did fine. I did fine. Bot lane was genetically designed to be failures. This game, I knew it. That's. I don't think it's comp diff. It's just bot diff. It's just bot diff, bro. It's just bot diff. Like if you want more reasoning, like. It's just bot diff, dude. Like, my Thresh is legally blind, and my Callista's not even breathing. The thing's like a fetus. It's like a dead little fetus creature. Abomination. Can't win with those players. We have AP. We have AP top. We have Gwen top. <sighs> Well, we're destined to lose a game because of the team, so I guess that has to be that one. Why is Maokai allowed to be this broken? It's so bad players can play the game. That's why. Riot Games needs to streamline their game even more so that Every person can play their game. Even the ones who have uh, no brains. Maokai is cancer broken, though. That champ is cancer broken. His kit's just really good. I don't think it's like so much the numbers, but his kit. <laughs> Although it's probably both. Because before, Maokai still had the same kit, but he wasn't really picked too much. Now it's like, man... What do you do? What was the old Maokai ult? Wasn't it kind of like some weird AoE spherical fucking like burn thing or something? Yeah, it was kind of a weird thing. Dude, the weirdest ultimate back in the day, I swear down, was like Poppies. Poppies, remember Fiora? Fucking remember Fiora just going into EQ?
Yeah, it's kind of a weird ult he had. Yeah, it's a little bizarre. Fiora's old ultimate was like Master EQ. <laughs> it was a EQ that did like a billion damage. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. Malzahar mid against Graves. I mean, GP wins this. I don't know about, I don't know about Graves. Why is there people on this planet that think the Earth is flat? Why is that a thing? You dare slack on my ship! I love you, Captain Tobias Gazzard. Reshoot, thank you, man. It's- it ain't- no, 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 bro. People think it's real. People think it's real, okay? They're the same people who play Nasus mid. They're the same people who play fucking God knows what, okay? Creature mutant motherfuckers. Okay, no Nasus, no AIDS. Let's go. No Nasus! No AIDS! No Vladimir? Good. No Nasus? Good. No Zed? Good. No Yasuo? Good. I would say the one champion you really never want to find is Nasus. I can ha I can deal with Yasuo disabling my whole kit, but like, it's only in one ability. He only has one ability that does it, and he doesn't build armor. Silas is fine. Silas is fine. I can't ever beat- I don't know. You go Q-Max against Vladimir, you shove him in, and then he still beats you. Stupid. I would say, if there was a permaban and it wasn't Zed, I would permaban Nasus. I'm not even kidding. I've never seen a game so unplayable. His abilities are just crimes. That spell shield breaks from um, autos, right? Or no? Okay, so I probably should have just autoed him in the need or W. Because he can't get it back. Wait, can he get it back through taking. If I keep autoing him, he can't get it back, right? Oh, yeah, it resets. Okay, good. So we just gotta keep autoing him.
I mean, he's got a free Banshee's Veil, so... Where the fuck is this dude going? That guy just like floated to Uganda. Wait, they're lane swapping. Bro, what are these insecurities? These players are so nasty, man. So fucking nasty. Shove the wave. You're dead, bro. I'll even shoot the fuck out of Wukong, I don't care. How do you get hit by that? I'm going Black Cleaver. I'm not playing. Every game, Black Cleaver. Wukong, infinite tank. Udyr, infinite tank. Support Jarvan, infinite tank. I'm good, man. At least our bot lane's playing pretty well, so that's good news. Kind of unlucky that they swap with this fucking dirty ape. Fucking nasty Wukong. Imagine, imagine lane swapping a Malzahar though. Like, what is that about, dude? Imagine lane swapping a fucking Malz. Like, what the fuck is that about? Thank god I fucking put this here. Bye, bitch. Back to the zoo. Nah, I can still max W and outpoke him. I can literally poke him and not have to interact. So, I can still go W. Because the thing about Q is... Here's the thing about Q maxing. Q maxing is probably... Or not probably, but it's basically the idea that you want to push your opponent in. Right? If you use your Q on the wave, you're not hitting them. Which means you're not dealing damage to them. I can push the wave with level 1 Q in autos, but I can W the fuck out of him and deal a million damage, and it's guaranteed damage. Because the way Q does damage... We win this, by the way. Even if we lose drag, we win this. Nah, Caitlyn's trash. You're full HP, bro. You're full HP, man! Use your HP bar! No way you did that. Fucking garbage war criminal. Fucking loser trash player. Use your fucking HP bar, man. You're ranged. Use your HP bar. You have 70% HP. For fuck's sake. Why are you pathing away from the fight? So much for three kills being useful. Unlucky. Nice one. I'm surprised that Jarvan actually had stopwatch so early. 
Seven minutes? When is that thing supposed to come up? Isn't it like a little later? Unlucky. I'm dead. Fucking cancer junglers. I swear to god, all cancer. Holy shit, it's so frustrating. Fucking Jarvan mid, Udyr mid, like, for fuck's sake, leave me alone. Fucking D-Gens. We could beat him 1v1, but, like, it's- that's the thing. It's not 1v1. <laughs> it's perma mid. Perma mid. Perma mid. He's got one pot, okay. And Udyr's gonna be back mid. Wudong is like right here. I flashed. If I fight in the wave, maybe. Oh my god, he does so much damage with Sheen. Oh my god, they lane swapped. Oh my god, it's the matchup I was actually playing for with my magic resist runes. But now it doesn't really matter. And he's just gonna reswap like an insecure little bitch. Kind of want to go B when I've got Black Cleaver. It's a little ways away though. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one more wave. If you can't win the matchup, what do you mean win the matchup? Does Malzahar lose the matchup? Does he win the matchup? It's just insecurities, bro. Got a bunch of drones out here. If you lose to Graves as Malzahar, you're shit. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm whooping your ass with a Comet W Max, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Shit. Nice. There you go, you rats. Bye, bitch. No sequel, monkey fucker. 
Gotta love almost getting one shot by like literal component item Wukong. What a great champ. Cool. Good design. Certainly not statted out of his mind. It gets worse because he gets Sunder and then he insta kills you while healing a million damage. It always gets worse if they build Sunder. Always. It is no bueno. Well, it's because these champs can use... Champs like Alawi, Wukong, Gangplank, Jax, any champ that has a guaranteed click on damage that can proc a Sheen is insane. Like, it just does too much. Essence Gangplank, fucking Sunderer Alawi, Sunderer Wu Dick Cheese, like... It's a low cooldown, guaranteed hit, and it does a million damage and heals. It's very bad. Camille. Oh my god, don't even get me started on Camille. That bitch is broken. Pretty much all Sunderer abusers who are like bruisers are broken. Their damage is just unmatched. You just can't do it. Because not only are they dealing more damage than you, but they're also out healing you, which is a big problem. Alawi is broken in damage, yes. I don't think the champ's, like, insanely broken, but, like, the damage is good. Alawi mashing W on top of your head as a click-on that perma-heals her and does, like, a million damage, that's kind of broken. You know? Okay, Caitlyn is, like, the savior we need. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to all in me and just won. Through like stealth and just double knock up. Udyr's behind me. Nah, you get to die, bro. You're trash. You are trash. No shit he would try and do that, because, like, his champ allows him to, but dear god. Fucking spit on you, disgusting. This nasty fucking cum flake, disgusting dead corpse of a monkey fuck. There are some champs that just piss me the fuck off, and Wukong is one of them. Zed's one of them. Nasus is one of them. These champs are just disgusting, vile, wretched piss. Rumble, Silas. Zoe, not so much. Nah, I don't really care. I mean, the, the sum spamming is annoying as shit, but... Twinkster, thank you. LeBlanc, yep. Yeah. Malphite. Not really Malphite, no. Yone, not really Yone. I mean, like, his abilities are annoying, but it's not, like, super turbo rage. I should have hit the cone. I want that monkey dead. Where is he? Fucking nasty creature. I won't rest till his hide's mounted on my fucking wall. The last of the Wukongs. Come on, you fucker. You're mine, bitch. 
He went B. Everyone pays. Monkey will rainbows. You have to kill him. Oh, <laughs> me build tobbies, me build broken sunderer, me perma invis, triple knock up, disgusting, fifty billion armor, magic resist, one shot you from stealth while perma healing. <laughs> Fucking cringe, bro. Cringe mobility, cringe existence, cringe players. I'm good, man. <laughs> Me here. <laughs> Shut up. Let me out. I got a monkey to kill. Yeah, tasty bitch. It's what's called freedom. And you are free to die.